The best way I can explain regenerative development is that old saying about giving the man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach him how to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. Well, unless the fish run out. Regenerative development turns that around and says, teach a man to love the ocean and they'll both thrive. Regenerative development is being applied here in Australia as well, at sites like Seacombe West on Lake Wellington. The lake system originally was a freshwater system. Man opened Lake's entrance in 1890 for local shipping. What this has done is changed the freshwater lake system to a saltwater system. The salt water from Lake Wellington now floods across the low land on the southern shore. What was originally a fairly diverse environment has now become a monoculture of glasswort and in some areas has degraded to bare salt pan. We believe we need to do something about this. Some of the initiatives that are being considered are uh, a eco-resort um, because we're sitting on a geothermal energy supply there which we can use for spas, greenhouses and aquaculture and we can start um, healing the land as well so it's rejuvenating at the same time. <laughs>